welcome back team i came and discussed this one this is sitting in the singapore region okay you are able to make this particular app service also count as 3 because you can you can make your app service count to 3 1 to 3 and your your traffic will really show better that's absolutely fine but now what i'm asking you know for example i'm just disconnecting this one okay i'm disconnecting this one i'll bring this one later for example this app service what was sitting in singapore the singapore region has some disaster singapore region has some disaster if singapore region has some disaster automatically your app service will not work right then how you will serve the traffic how you will serve the public now i want to understand ideas from you team what you will think you need to apply a dr plan for your app service what you will think any idea so what is the dr plan here team okay okay all right let me clear this one this is an application which is in singapore region okay that's absolutely fine what you will do in real time if you want to set up a, a dr for this particular case usually usually you will maintain you will maintain the another application in the east asia right in the east asia for example if this is southeast asia this is southeast asia and this would be the east asia one right east east asia one now there are two ways to maintain your higher disaster scenario first one is if you select your higher end plan meaning that the premium higher pay obviously azure will help you to replicate your infrastructure in the east asia but your company is not really interested to spend such an amount to go for the higher plans or the service don't have such a feature even that case also i'm talking about then you need to do it manually you need to configure your architecture manually then how as a user you should be able to connect to a component call i'm just bringing up a new component here team as a user you should be able to connect to a component call friend door friend door i'm bringing up a new component here this is friend door now when a user connected to the friend door team the friend door is connecting to the app service app service now friend door is responsible for example for example let's let's take your case only your case only this is what the singapore region this is the normal scenario user is connecting to the friend door friend door is routing the traffic to the app service the friend door is a load balancer it's a load balancer it's a global load balancer that is the important facts here this is a global load balancer and also which can route the traffic http and https okay that traffic it can route okay now that is what that is what a like simple i'm just giving a high level on the front door don't worry okay let, i'll discuss this one deep dive i'll deep dive into the front door tomorrow don't worry so firstly as a user needs to connect to the front door front door is a load balancer load balancer is routing the traffic to this particular back end only load balancer means it load balancer when you need a load balancer when you have the two targets when you have the two two or more when you have the two or more targets usually you may require some load balancer to route the traffic I am connecting friend door to East Asia also. Now friend door is serving the traffic, serving the traffic between Singapore and East Asia. So meaning that you maintain high availability across the regions. Point number one to be noted. If you increase the number of instance only Singapore region, that is the high availability in the same region. But if you increase the instance in another region, that is high availability across the region. Point you need to remember. And which is none other than disaster also. You can consider that one for disaster scenario also. In case of Singapore down, friend door is really intelligent enough to route your traffic to East Asia. It will not route any traffic to Singapore. It will not route. You don't need to worry. You don't need to do anything. Friend door will do that automatically. No, no, no. I want to do it manually. I want to do it with my hands. If you feel like that, of course, that is also fine. You go to friend door, you 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 just keep the traffic zero to singapore and traffic one or 100 percent to east asia in that way also you can route the traffic to the east asia in case of disaster if disaster happened in the singapore region your friend door is really capable to route your traffic to the east asia comfortably advantage another advantage with this approach is another advantage also if you think 
if you think this particular approach the front door is not only a load balancer it is a content delivery network content delivery network so meaning that whatever the content is there as part of the websites that content will be cached in the front door and it will be served to the public very easily and in a faster way that is another advantage with the front door okay so two things which we need to discuss especially how to form a east asia one and how to route this particular traffic from singapore to east asia in case of disaster happens we will see this particular a thing and we will deep dive into the part this particular discussion in our next tomorrow's class we can also use application gateway to allow the traffic and the correct me from so you are absolutely right the problem with the application gateway is application gateway is also a l7 http load balancer but it cannot route the traffic across the region side your question is completely valid but you are you are true in case of within the region you are not true in case across the regions across the region the front door is the only option is a certification question team okay certification question okay so a uh, front door is really useful to handle the traffic across the region if you want to replicate the traffic across the region you need to prefer the front door is that clear yes okay so again i'm telling you it's a global load balancer okay global load balancer with this one i think you will get a very good idea with this project itself this is the starting point for your further projects also what are the projects are coming in our future also you will use the similar approach okay similar approach you no need to worry at all okay yeah, that is what exactly i thought to deliver for today team thank you for the session see you in the next part